Hello and welcome to a new Football Manager experiment on Boss United FM. Manchester United signed Edinson Cavani and Alex Telles on summer transfer deadline day 2020. Cavani signed on a free transfer after leaving Paris Saint-Germain, whereas they paid around £13.6 million, roughly €15 million, Euros, for Telles from Porto. They are both expected to play a big part in the Premier League and Champions League seasons for the Red Devils, but I thought I'd like to test them out first. In this video, both Cavani and Telles have been moved over to play for Boston United at level 6 in the English Football Pyramid in Conference North. Each have been given a three-year contract on £500 a week, so it'll be interesting to see what happens in those three years. How long will they stay at Boston? Will Cavani retire in English non-league? Who will leave first and will they stay in England or go back to the continent or even to their South American homelands? Will they command a big transfer fee? Will Boston advance up the leagues? It's now 1st of June 2022, just a few weeks before the end of Cavani and Telles' initial contracts. Neither of them are in the Boss United squad, it seems, so we'll need to do some digging to find out what has happened. So Cavani is at Wolves. He's 35 years old now. And he obviously likes playing in orange. Have a look at his history. So it's actually not long ago that he joined Wolves from Boston. It looks like it was a January signing for £1.7 million. Pounds. If we take a look at his first season, it's 35 goals in 42 games. Just a couple of assists, but 13 Player of the Match awards. Second season, looks like Boston got promoted in that first season. 46 appearances in Vanarama National. 36 goals this time, 8 assists and 19 Player of the Match awards. He's getting better. 31 appearances in Skybet League 2, 26 goals, just the one assist, 9 Player of the Match awards. But he's obviously earned himself a move up to the Premier League with Wolves. And Wolves have finished 12th this year, very much a mid-table side, 13 points away from Europe. And also 13 points away from the drop zone. Cannot get much more mid-table than that. If we just check Cavani's international record, doesn't look like he's played at all during this save for Uruguay. No, no international appearances. 114 caps, 48 goals he's left with. Doesn't look like he has retired from international football, but obviously playing at a lower level, he's unlikely to be called up. However, the media opinion is now saying that he does merit an international club. Now he's playing back at the top level for Wolves in the Premier League. They're wanting him to be called up for Uruguay again. Now Alex Telles, he's also in the Premier League. He's playing for Arsenal. 29 years old, still the one cap for Brazil, so it doesn't look like he's played international football either. He is wanted by Paris Saint-Germain. Take a look at his history. So it was in the season 2021 that he went to Arsenal for £21 million. Had a really good first season in Vanarama North for Boston. 35 appearances, just the one goal, but he did get 12 assists. Then started the next season with Boston, played just the three games, got three assists in those games, but then was signed for Arsenal. 26 appearances in the Premier League that season. No goals and just a couple of assists. A couple of goals this season. However, those assists have dried up. Doesn't look like Arsenal are playing to his strengths. Looking at the league table, Arsenal only finished six. However, they are going to be in the Champions League next year. It'll be interesting to see how that has happened. If we have a look down, it looks like they've actually won the Europa League. They beat Roma on penalties in the final. If we go back one season, Arsenal finished fifth, hence getting their Europa League spot for this season. If we go back to Boston, look at their managerial history, just the one person in there, unexpectedly so, as it looks like the club have advanced into the Football League, so Craig Elliott is still in the job. We have a look at their domestic progress. First season, Vanarama North, first position, 92 points. 
Second season, first position, 90 points. Not quite as impressive. Played more games, got less points, but they still won the league. And then this season, finishing fifth, got into the playoffs. However, it looks like they've gone out to Salford in the playoff semi-finals. Here's the league table for that first season. Boston winning the league by 17 points from both Kidderminster and Chester. Chester won the playoffs. And then the second season in the Vanarama National. A bit closer this time, just a point ahead of Yeovil Town. And it was then Torquay that pipped Yeovil to promotion back into the Football League. If we have a look at the transfer record of Boston. So in that first season, not a lot's really happened. Just a couple of lone players coming in and some free transfers going out. Second season, this was where Alex Telles went to Arsenal for £21 million. What looks to be deadline day for Arsenal. But Boston didn't spend any of that money. They just brought in players on free transfers and a few loan deals. And the season just gone, we can see that Boston have now spent £275,000 in total which is still less than what they brought in because it looks like they've sold a player for £105,000 to Burton and then there's the £1.7 million transfer fee of Edinson Cavani to Wolves. Looking at the main incomings, there's £165,000 on Sam Perry and £58,000 on Elliot Simawes. Boston have obviously kept a lot of the transfer money in the bank for future use, future investment in the squad potentially. Maybe this summer they'll go all out. Having lost out in the playoffs this season, they maybe want to win the league and get themselves up to League One. Both Cavani and Telles left Boston before the end of their three-year contracts. Cavani towards the end, just six months to go. He could have agreed a transfer abroad for nothing for the end of the season, but ended up going into the Premier League with Wolves. Telles was a different story, he went pretty early on, just over a year into his contract at Boston. But he went to Arsenal for £21 million. And Arsenal, despite winning the Europa League, haven't impressed in the league. He will be a Champions League player next season, either with Arsenal or potentially with Paris Saint-Germain, who are interested in him. Naturally, both had a positive effect on the Pilgrims. Cavani more so with all of his goals, especially in non-league. And the club have benefited hugely. They're now sat in Skybet League 2. But if you've enjoyed the content of this video, please don't forget to leave a like. And for more videos, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.